In their efforts to make rugby a truly global game and after 11 months of planning and preparation, 11 men are about to embark on a journey to the magnetic North Pole, where they'll attempt to set a world record for the most northerly game of rugby ever played. It is sure to challenge both body and mind, so where better to prepare for such an event than Wales back in January? The reason why we're here at the moment in, in Ogmore by the sea, delightful and freezing and cold, freezing cold Wales, is that uh, we're doing uh, some of the training here for the uh, Wooden Spoon Arctic Rugby Challenge. So, uh, you know, all the boys are uh, well, well up for this at the start. I think now it's just starting to hit home exactly how big this challenge is going to be and how difficult this is. Uh, you know, we're only in, in Wales, okay, granted it's cold in January. At minus 50 in the North Pole, it's going to be a different story. But uh, yeah, energies are still high, so we're ready to rock and roll. Yesterday was a, a, day, a day full of training, so it was, it was sled pulls, traversing a river, a river um, basically just trying to work, make sure we work together as, as a team, as a unit, so that when we're up there, uh, everybody's you know, understanding how each other works and making sure we all stick together. Uh, and then combining that with a, a little bit of sort of GPS navigation or whatever. So it'd be much, a, a bit more of the same today. So uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's gonna be interesting, but it's all, it's all good morale building, morale boosting, team building stuff. And if the group were in any doubt about the challenges facing them, expedition leader and seasoned North Pole adventurer Jock Wishart soon put them straight. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea, you know. It's, it's pretty severe. We're going to be in temperatures could be as low as, as minus 30 degrees. Um, they have a walk of, uh, could be up to eight days before we, we get to the pole. And uh, then we're going to be playing this uh, amazing game of rugby do a great world record, all for Wooden Spoon and a great charity. It's a nice touch, is that no one's too cocky about this. They all understand that this is, you know, this is hard, you know, this, um, because once you get up there and you start underestimating what you're going to be taking on, and it doesn't matter whether you're Superman, that's when it catches you out. So at the moment, they're all got the right state of mind. They're all, it's, you know, with this is, and I want them to think that way. I want them to think, you know, this is going to be stretching us. And, and then when it comes to it, if they, they go in with that attitude, then, hey, maybe, you know, we're getting, we're doing okay, we're doing okay, but, you know, it's just, you build on and you build on. But once the challengers reach the North Pole, they will not only have to battle the elements, but the competitive instincts of former England internationals, Ollie Phillips and Tim Stimson. It's not really about winning the match. Mm, obviously it is. But it's, it's really about making sure we survive and being you know, looking after each other because it's going to be a massive challenge. Um, I'm starting to realise just how hard it's going to be. You know, 100 miles, very slowly going around loads of snow and ice and rocks. Um, we'll look after each other until we get there, clear the pitch, get sorted and then go at each other because I think we're only going to have one chance to play a game of rugby at the North Pole and we want to win. So uh, it'll all be friendly and great banter before and after the game like it is everywhere but actually on the field it would be, be, be a test. <laughs>